Scorpios, what's up? Scorpio Nation, what's poppin', baby? It's King Chocolato in the motherfucking mix. I'm about to do a Mother's Day reading for y'all. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Peace, love, and prosperity, light, and abundance I send to you, you know? On some real shit, no fake shit. Today is May 14th, I believe, 2023, and I'm about to do a Mother's Day reading for the Scorpios. If you have never seen me do readings before, and you like the way this thing vibe with you, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with another Scorpio and see what they say to you. If you have subscribed to my channel and you check me out whenever I post, I appreciate you. And I thank you very much. I'm about to give you a reading. And I hope it resonates with all of you Scorpios. If you want a personal reading with me, get in my email and, and request it and let me know what you want. <laughs> I'm happy y'all, you hear me? I ain't got not a motherfucking thing else to say to y'all except let's get this reading started. I'm going to pull you about three or four cards, Scorpio. This is our Mother's Day reading. I hope it get in where it fit in. You understand what I'm coming from? All right, one more shuffle and y'all going to be ready, Scorpio. We don't know what's going to come out. All we know is we're doing a reading. I'm a freestyle reader. I'm using the Spencer's deck. Y'all been to Spencer's before? Yes, you have. You know what they sell in there, don't you? Well, I got this out of that motherfucker, which tells you that I shop there too sometimes. Here's your overall energy, and here is your... Three cards, Scorps. And I give you a bonus. I give you a bonus. Your overall energy, Scorpio, is the three of wands. Your ship's coming in. You about to get what you you about to get a harvest. I'm gonna let you know that right now. You got some good things coming to you financially and as far as love go. As far as stability go, I see it. This card ain't showing me stability, but I'm seeing it anyway. You got stability coming. The three of wands is before the four of wands. You are a step before your marriage, your commitment, and your, your strong relationship. Because a lot of Scorpios is looking at me now and wondering, where's my serious relationship? I've been investing in myself. I smell good. I look good. I work. I work hard. You know, where is it? It's coming. The three of wands, look it up, research it, and then come back and talk to me if you don't want to get in the comments and tell me. Don't the three, if you're a real reader, do y'all understand that the three of wands is a ship coming in and you see it coming from uh, in a distance? Huh? You know it's in the ship. Your man, your woman, your, your, your job, your whatever you're waiting on is in that ship. It's on the way. That's what the overall energy is telling me with the three of wands. You got the Ten of Swords as your first card out. Some of y'all just went through a major betrayal, Scorpio. A lot of y'all done said, I done had it. I'm in my wits in. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Ten of uh, Swords is. But the Ten of Swords is not a bad card if you're a deep person. The Ten of Swords is letting me know that it can't get no worse than this. A lot of them Scorpios is looking at me right now. You is wondering, how much motherfucking more can I take? Well, you ain't going to be able to, you ain't going to have to take no more because... The thing you've been waiting on been delayed and, 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 and backtracked and, and, and redone, redone. I see redone, redone. Do it over, do it over, do it over. That stuff coming to an end. The number 10 means one plus zero means one. The, after the 10 of swords is the ace of swords. You got an ace and you got a victory coming. You this close, 
just like this card just told you. Can I get a witness? Somebody give me a witness. Get in the comments and show God you got faith. God told me to teach the peoples how to manifest. I'm trying to tell you. See? Hangman is your next card. This is the Pisces card. You know a Pisces Scorpio? Well, they're thinking about you in a different kind of way. They're looking at you as a different kind of person. They're looking at you as wild. They're looking at you as different. They're looking at you as weird. But they like you. You know a Pisces. Do you? The Hangman is a card of waiting before a real major move is made and looking at things from a different point of view. That's what the hangman is. It ain't just somebody sitting in a damn tree. Don't you ever let nobody trick y'all and tell y'all no bullshit like that. You understand me? Can you see me? Can you hear me clearly? Your bullshit is over. Here come your Pisces. Or Cancer or, or Scorpio. They are water sand for sure. Somebody coming with a different perspective to, and they bringing it into your life, Scorpio, point blank period. You got the Seven of Swords again. The Seven of Swords is somebody don't like it, somebody coming to steal, somebody coming to strategically distract you and break it up. Scorpio, this is the second read in a row where your last card was the uh, Seven of Swords, but I'm gonna give you a bonus. Swords is our thoughts our, and, and the things we say is intellect. Somebody strategically do not want you to get ahead. I see that right now. Y'all know who they are. You know exactly who they are. This person could be a family member. This person could be a, somebody on your job. But somebody strategically trying to distract you, disrupt you, and break down what you're building. And I see that you've been building for the last seven months, building yourself up from the ground, and they come in to distract it. They could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. In a moon rising or sun sign. You dig what I'm saying? And for your bonus, you get the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is air, uh, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini energy. The Six of Swords, the good thing about the Six of Swords is you're moving on. You are moving, Scorpio, to better times. you moving to something that's more feasible to you. you moving on to something that's real, real good for you, Scorpio. I'm telling you that right now. You moving on. Remember I told y'all your ships was coming in? It's where well, surprise, surprise is here and you moving on with the Six of Swords. Mentally and physically. You moving on from the bullshit. You moving on from the person that you know ain't got your back. And they've been backstabbing you and coming back. Backstabbing, ooh, put it in the comments. Somebody been backstabbing my Scorpio. Some Scorpios is looking at me and they be coming back. And they leave and then they come back. And they leave and they come back. And you've been wondering. I got a, I got a, I got an answer for you. You've been wondering. Are they using me? Yep. They have been. They wait till it seems like you're doing a little bit better. And then they come back. Holly, if you hear me. You got the Six of Swords as your bonus card, Scorpio. I had to give you a bonus card on your Mother's Day reading. You moving on from the heartache and the betrayal. You moving on. From anything that's not prepared and ready to go to the next level with you. You moving on, Scorpio. That's what I see. I don't clickbait and bullshit nobody. And y'all know it. If you want a personal reading, you better book it. And you better book it fast. They're going real fast. They're going super fast. I'm telling you that right now. My email is in my com on my community page. You know what I'm saying? God is doing amazing things. If it seems like your life is stuck in the balance, and it's because I'm telling you what it is. You got bullshit energy around you, or you got bullshit in you. You need to get it out. You got three swords cards. You got a three of wands, which is your, your wishes, and, and, your, and, and that ship coming. It's, it's getting closer. It's getting closer and closer and closer, Scorpio. You got the hangman, Pisces energy, looking at things from a different point of view. You know you can't do things the way you used to. You doing things differently with that Pisces energy. You could be connected with a Pisces. I don't know. All I know is you got a divine destiny coming. I hear it. A divine destiny coming. And you got to get in position and you got to get ready. 
Because when something is on a ship and it's coming in, it's coming in for a reason. It's to drop off fish. It's to drop off cargo. It's to drop off something. They, it's, it's ready to come and unload on your dock, Scorpio. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? I ain't have my microphone on. That's okay. If you heard me, let me know in the comments that we hear you loud and clear, Chocolate. Let me know. It's y'all time, Scorpio. Y'all ships are so close. Y'all ships is real, real close, but you gotta get those past thoughts out your mind. There's somebody sneaking around and bullshitting, and every now and then, yep, I mean your business. Every now and then, you let them in, and then you let them the fuck back out. And y'all got this back and forth thing going on. Yeah, I mean your business. Open up that te that top chest of drawers and let me see what's in that motherfucker. Cause I showed been on the bottom and the middle levels. Now I don't know who you think you're fooling. Mm hmm. Yep. Get. Rid of those dogs and those piranhas and, and tarantulas that's fucking with you. They don't mean you no goddamn good and you know it. It is it, it's one thing when you don't know what's going on, but it's another when you know what's going on. Scorpio, you know what's going on. You this close, you getting closer and closer and closer. But I just wanted you I just wanna let you know that it's some things in the past you gotta get out of your head and out of your mind. There's a particular person you need to just get on them, get them, get them the fuck from away from you. Just be done with them. Because that back and forth stuff ain't done nothing for you. Ain't done a damn thing for your organs or nothing. You sitting up getting wet daily for no reason. Sometimes he don't even show up. Put it in the comments. I'm in your business. And if you don't put it in, in, in the comments, you know I'm speaking directly to you. Shame on you. You not showing the other Scorpios that... You sat here through the whole video like them, and it's resonating. You, you Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish, Scorpio. Share the love. Hundreds of y'all feeling me right now, and I know it. I see it. I know what I see, and y'all know it. Your personal readings and, and the reviews I'm getting from my personal readings is amazing and outstanding. I got a 100% success rate. Things is manifesting quick. The people ain't telling me nothing. I'm telling them. That's when you had a reading, not when you tell them. My birthday is 1979. I'm this, I'm that. I've just been having a hard time with my husband. They gonna pick up on that shit and they gonna start telling you it right back and you gonna be thinking they gifted. Don't tell me a motherfucking thing. Get over reading from me and and, 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 and see, see how you like it. Ask the other Zodiacs what they think about it and you will see. Don't hate the player, hate the game, Scorpios. You dig what I'm saying? I love you, Scorpios. Y'all the big bosses of this thing, you know what I'm saying? Eighth house energy, you know? But y'all know me. If you if you check me out for a while, I ain't gonna tell you no lies. I ain't got none for you. Not a one. I ain't got time to be bullshitting. Fuck a like and a share. The people that like and share my videos because they they raw you really tapping into inside and saying i ain't gonna even hate i ain't gonna even lie that is what it is that's faith faith without works is dead don't get me to whatever scorpios i hope this is a good mother's day message for y'all i hope it brought some clarity y'all sense it like nobody else Something right around the corner is real close, but you got to let go of something. Let it go. Get it out of your system. Stop talking to it on the phone and bullshitting out of loneliness, too. Yeah, I saw your panties and your drawers. I ain't going to touch you. You let me in your motherfucking house and laid it and, and kept them on the goddamn floor. Shit. Scorpios, <clears throat> I had a nice time doing y'all reading. Keep the faith. Keep your chin up. Your dreams are getting ready to come to come true. They're getting ready to come to pass, baby. I promise you. You'll see. Until next time, I'm the Choco King. Tell somebody about me.